Brady. It's the evening of January 20th, 2021, and I just got 2020.48.35.5 software release. Just installed it. Um, <laughs> I guess it's still a 2020 release. I'm wondering if this is the completion of the holiday release that wasn't quite done at the end of the year because the one for sure. This is the release notes. Uh, I'm not seeing, I mean, it just says release notes improvements, but that's been there forever. That's a bunch of game things. There's an arcade feature with Cat Quest. Solitaire has arcade features. Boombox, turn your car into a boombox and then two. Okay, this is all old stuff. Oh, interesting. All right. Let's see what the driving refresh, scheduled departure improvements. Okay, let's see what we have to say here. It's been refreshed and now offers a larger visualization. Okay, we saw that already. It's been slightly moved, continue. Yeah, this all looks pretty darn similar. Uh, emissions test mode. <laughs> okay, apparently they've improved fart mode. <laughs> oh, it can be used outside the car. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll have to give that one a try. Vehicle information, miscellaneous improvements. All right, well, let's us uh, um, let's see what we can do by going into like toy box mode. Let's see what we got in terms of that. So. <laughs> oh wait, here we go. <laughs> okay well there's one definite improvement <laughs> okay that's that's what that's the first thing i've noticed about good gracious oh let's see if the boom box is any different summon sound and eh, play current media etc this all looks the same um tracks pretty much looks the same let's go and take a look at games so well, let's actually take a look. Yep, that's all the same. These all look the same. Let's just take a look at Solitaire because that one's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and play Solitaire here. Alrighty. I don't know. Let's see if there's any kind of themes, options, hit, undo. And we can do Vegas. So we can do Vegas scoring, cumulative. Sure, why not? We'll find out how much money we lose. Uh, yeah, interesting. I don't know. It says it's got an arcade, but I'm not sure exactly what that means. I'm not seeing anything unusual. The driving definitely looks the same. I'm going to attempt to put it. Yeah, it's not going to be. <laughs> I've got it plugged in right now, so it's not going to be able to drive. So I will, um, I don't know. I just don't see all that much different. Like the only thing that I really know is different is the <laughs> emissions mode, which is just completely silly. But there you go. So, yeah. <laughs> That's, I got all excited about this, but apparently <laughs> having it do that outside the car is the only thing. Oh, this is great. Let's see if I can do it with a turn signal. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to keep that on because that just cracks me up. People will definitely look at me when I'm driving. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, I will uh, I'll look at it more. Um, I think somebody had mentioned something about heated steering wheel, but probably I really doubt that I have one that has a heating steering wheel. And I certainly don't see it listed here as any of the options. Let's take a look at navigate on autopilot. Those still all look the same. Customize standby mode. Oh, let's see. Fixed percentage. Oh, well, this this definitely looks better, I think. Okay, the current speed. Oops, no, speed limit. And then I want to do a percentage. Something along those lines. Sure, why not? Speed limit warning. Display. Speed limit relative, offset. Wait a second, what's that? <laughs> Set speed, offset, speed limit, offset, relative. These things, I think this is different. So generally speaking, at least when I'm going faster, and this is the United States, remember, that's generally, I think eight's probably better. Forward collision warning, medium. Oh, wow, okay. These are quite a few um, obstacles. So all of this stuff was not available before. So obstacle aware acceleration, all this stuff, lane departure avoidance, off warning. So definitely assist me when I'm going off. Let's see what we got here. All right. Um, yeah, 
I may take it out for a drive. I may take a look at it and see what's going on. All right. Well, let's give this a try. I've got the lights on in the car, so we're going to put this in drive. Uh, I'm definitely not noticing. Check this, make sure. Yep, okay, we got decent, decent stuff. So definitely cruise control is available, but not automatic. So, but these are back roads again, so I'm going to just give it a quick drive around. And I uh, definitely want to turn on the brights. There's <laughs> a lot of deer in this area at this time of night, so got to always be a little extra wary around here. So yeah, in terms of autopilot, there's a whole bunch of features that I did not see before. So all of these guys appear to be here. So I've got, all of this is automated, lane departure avoidance. So this may be, <laughs> I may have to get rid of this because it may be a little bit too much because sometimes you have to pass a car or something. So I may put this to warning right now. And we definitely have new speed limit settings. So that's cool. So I can set percentages. So all of that looks pretty much the same as what it did before. So I don't see anything particularly new in terms of that, but there is a bunch of new stuff that was available that wasn't there before. So I don't know. We'll see. You can see I'm a big REM fan, old REM fan. <laughs> Again, I really don't have any clue whether there's a heated steering wheel in this car or not, but. If there is, it would be interesting to turn it on. I, this, we live in Georgia. It's not that common that it's nice to have a heated steering wheel this far south, but uh, this time of year. So for the month of December and January, perhaps it would be nice to have that. So anyway. Oh, that's cool. So I don't know why it thinks there's a light there instead of a stop sign, but that visualization is quite different. So that's very different. That's cool. Definitely didn't have that before. All right, so now I can, well, I had it for a second. There we go, so let's give it up. So, oh, so it automatically set the speed limit higher. So that's definitely an improvement that before you used to have to, you would only set it to the actual speed limit. Unless I was just missing that entirely before, but I don't, I didn't actually see that as an option. It, those things just weren't showing up as part of what I was, what I had available to me. So this is pretty much just a straight road. So there's not all that much interesting, but there is a light at the end of it. And there's also a crosswalk that comes up here. And I'll be curious to see. I'm also looking at the visualization. It seems to be, um, yeah, it's seeing all those garbage cans. Okay, there's a whole lot more stuff that seems to be showing up than was before. So I hate that. I've got my hand on the steering wheel and it never thinks I've got enough pressure on it. So yeah, it's definitely showing like the turn lanes. And I think it seems to be visualizing more than it was before. So not all of these signs. This is what I was talking about in terms of the crosswalk. And there is, okay, so I recognize there was a car there. Didn't show the car, but it definitely recognized it with the lights, the high beams turned down. And uh, let's see. All right, so now, yeah, okay, so it automatically, so this is all good. This was not, it didn't used to do this. It would it would go down in speed, but it would go down to match the exact speed limit. It wouldn't let you <laughs> adjust the speed limit, feather the speed limit, perhaps. I don't know what you want to call it. Okay, so here we go. It says, it says it's stopping. So I guess it's going to stop. Okay, so it's still, it's still requesting, like you're tapping on the accelerator to prove that you're doing it right. So, um, interesting. Gonna take a right down here. All right, I'm gonna take it out of autopilot and then I'm gonna give it directions to, oh geez, I guess Walmart. <laughs> I never go to Walmart if possible, but it's a good place to get directions to. Get me directions to Walmart. Now turn right onto Gaines School Road. Alrighty. So let's see. So it says it's stopping for this traffic light. Yep. Okay. 
Still got to give it a little confirmation, but just a little tap on the gas or accelerator. I like the, the visualizations are much cooler than they used to be. It looks a lot more like, um, not quite like the beta, but it's, it's definitely something different than it was before. So, all right, I'll give it another tap. Okay, speed limit sign. Let's see what it looks like. See, these guys, uh, yeah, it shows them much bigger than they were before. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's definitely still showing the speed limit signs. It definitely knows that's a double yellow. And let's see. I do have my hand on the freaking steering wheel. Jeez. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Let's see if I force it to go into this lane, what it'll do. Okay, so that was good. Oh, very aggressive turn, too. Wow, that was... It, it didn't hesitate at all. It just went for it. So now it's going to have to make a right-hand turn up here, so it should... I don't know if it'll navigate back to the right lane or not. Let's find out. Okay, so it's definitely saw the school crossing zone. That was pretty cool, because it actually slowed down a little bit as I got close there. It doesn't appear that it's going to turn into the other lane for me. Uh, yeah, I better do it. Okay, okay. In 500 feet, right. turn right onto Lexington Road. Let's see if it does the next one. Mm. Now turn right nope. onto okay. Lexington Road. <laughs> so it's definitely not navigating on city streets at all. It's, it's holding its lane and all that stuff, but it's not navigating. So, all right. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. Cool. All right, again, it's it's definitely adjusting the speed limit much better than it did before, so that's pretty cool. Um, hmm. Interesting. So it seems like it's a kind. It's definitely there's definitely differences in the way it's driving. But it's also definitely not, like, it's definitely not the beta. <laughs> How's that? Because <laughs> it's still it's still behaving like the old version, but it's definitely an improved old version. Feet, so. left to stay on Lexington Road. Okay. All right. Well, we'll cancel that. Let's see if it will. Yep. Okay. So even if I don't have directions, it's happy to go. Get in this lane. Now let's see if it slows down. I got to make a right hand turn up here. So. Yep, if I just let it go, yeah, okay. So, all right. So it definitely slowed down all that stuff. That's good. Woo, okay. <laughs> it seems like the cruise control was still on there. Uh, let's see if it'll give me, I guess it will. All right. And that's fascinating, too. It's doing 51 over 45 instead of 50, which is interesting. It's a little bit scary. These are pretty pretty tight turns back here hmm. so yeah it doesn't seem to, like it's the beta software but it also definitely seems like it's an improved driving experience over what I was getting before and I really do have my hand here <laughs> I know it keeps flashing that but my hand is like right on the steering wheel I, it's, I don't know anyway so let's see if it slows down here because this is a crosswalk and Nope. No, no slowing down at all. All right. And I'm going to take it back into the neighborhood again and see if it will navigate. Like, it will not currently do the navigation on the back streets. So, the little steering wheel will come on, in other words. So, let's see. This is a really, really tight turn here. So, <laughs> Well, I guess it's like an S turn. It's two tight turns. But, um... After this, I need to take it out and, yeah, handle that very, very well. Okay, I'm going to take it out quick because I want to turn here, but I wanted to give it a chance to um, do that. Okay, so now, finally, let's see. So clearly the cruise control is on, but I don't think... Yeah, okay. So still, obviously, as opposed to the beta software, I'm not getting the little turn. Definitely improved over what it was before, but also definitely not the beta still. But I will take it because it's actually much, much nicer here. There's some definite improvements with that. And of course with, uh, let me see if I can, I think I set a maximum, 
Oh gosh, no. Okay. <laughs> Gotta slow down. Uh, I thought I, I thought I'd set the speed limit to a maximum that it wouldn't go over that amount, but I, obviously it did. So, all right. Well, okay. <laughs> it's interesting. It, you win some, you lose some. It, I, I'll definitely take this. Obviously, I would love to have the beta still, but this is very cool that we've got as much information as this. I've also noticed it's starting to figure out lines because this is an unlined road. So it's just double wide, but there's no actual line here. But you can see that it's got an estimation of where the lines are and it should hopefully stop up here at this stop sign with the cruise control. Yep, okay. It didn't seem like it knew that. This visualization is, I think they're just bigger than they were before. That definitely looks cool. All right, and if I give it a little gas, and then let off, it should accelerate with that. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Very spiffo. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so anyway, <laughs> thank you for tuning in for my random ramblings as I drive around. Hopefully this is interesting. So as far as I can tell, the software has, uh, let's see, where is the entertainment toy box? This is very cool because you can now have it, let's see if I can do this on turn signals. Oh, I can't tell if it's doing it outside, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, you can set it for outside the car, which is very, very cool. I love that. Uh, aside from that, it looks like there's just some improvements in terms of the autopilot software and definitely the visualization looks a little bit different than it used to. Anyway, thank you so much for coming along for this little drive. If you enjoyed the episode, definitely like it and subscribe for more technical stuff most, most of the time, but it's kind of fun to test out new software sometimes too. So hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, that's the best ever. <laughs>